so I almost forgot to make a YouTube video of this uh, vacuum cleaner I got here. I just wanted to make one. A uh, friend of mine needed me to look at his vacuum cleaner and, uh, and took it apart here and got it in between my knees here. But uh, I noticed that uh, when I got it open here, it's a shark navigator. Uh, you see the navigator. Very expensive vacuum cleaner. Uh, but the uh, brush wasn't turning on it. It is sucking pretty good, but the brush wasn't turning. So I just went ahead and took it apart here and uh, kind of took a look at it. And just looks like just a little bit of hair here. I don't know if this is really the problem or not, but I, these, this kind of stuff keeps it from spinning. Uh, and it's just kind of stuck down in the, the spin hole here, if you notice. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this stuff out here, pull some of this stuff out, and uh, I'm going to give it a shot and see if this brush, will, we'll put it back together and see if this brush will spin. Looks like everything's working here on the board here. I'm going to take my multimeter and uh, before I started this video and just kind of check this board out, check the air resistors out. The lamp actually comes on, but it comes on red um, and, the, and the brush periodically turns. But we're going to see if we can uh, do something with this here and uh, get it sucking properly here. Got a belt here. The belt's okay. Seems like that's what I thought the problem may be. But my uh, friend went ahead on and uh, cleaned everything up here. You see the brush is pretty clean here. But uh, the uh, hair here on the uh, on the spin end uh, may be causing him a little bit of problem with the brush operating properly. So we're going to clean this thing out and uh, go ahead and... Uh, um, try to fix it up here. All right. So, I got the wheel out. A lot of people don't know these things. Um, these uh, shark vacuum cleaners uh, have a lot of hair in the wheel here. You guys notice here, but I just went here and pulled it out. Uh, again, once again, it's a shark navigator uh, vacuum cleaner. Uh, a very, very expensive vacuum cleaner again, uh, but uh, this uh, little wheel here, it's got splines on it. This thing that turns, this is the wheel that turns on the other end from the belt here. You notice the belt, it turns everything. A lot of times these vacuum cleaners get, you know, some hair and stuff on the inside of it. You guys notice on the last uh, start here that we had uh, a lot of hair around this area here. I finally got all that little bit of hair out of there. And, and, and debris and stuff like that. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this wheel up here of the little bit of debris that's in here. I can probably just pull some of this stuff out with my hand here. Here, uh, but uh, I usually put my gloves on when I'm doing this kind of work, but um, it's a pretty uh, simple thing here. Just a little bit of hair, you know, I'll get my hands cleaned up once I get done with it. And I dropped it on the floor. But I'm going to clean all in, in here where the splines was located at. I'm going to clean in, inside of here. And uh, YouTubers, this is just something you guys can keep your vacuum cleaners instead of sitting them on the side of the road. Um, like I say, this is one of my friend's vacuum cleaners here. And I'm cleaning up, trying to clean up, get cleaned up. And it sure is working for him. And get it returned to him. Alright, so. Alright, YouTubers, I'm going to go ahead and clean that up. And uh, we'll see if this thing works. Alright. 